Well, hello, everybody. I'm Tom Boone, Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation. Uh, as we've said before, we are here in uh, Germany, and I think we're in, we're about 70 minutes outside of Nuremberg. Uh, we're in the country. It's a beautiful setting here. There's a Christian conference center here. Uh, we're visiting our partner, Sarkis Benjamin, who is the pastor of the Presbyterian Church of Bayern. It's, uh, Bayern is, is German for Bavaria, so we're in that southern part of Germany. And it's my delight to introduce to you one of the couples uh, that is on our team. They're working with the children for this conference, Kelly and Casey Blyton. Welcome. I'm glad you're here with us. Um, Kelly and Casey, just tell us a little bit about yourselves. Um, well, I'm Casey. This is my husband, Kelly. We've been members of South Highland Presbyterian Church in Birmingham, Alabama for nine years-ish. Um, and we are pretty involved in our church and the kids ministry there. I'm the choir, sorry, children's choir director of our church. And, um, we've both been in leadership positions. He's been an elder. I've been a deacon. Um, and this is our first organized, um, like mission trip. Um, it's been pretty awesome so far, pretty <laughs> exhausting so yeah, far, it's tired, yeah, it <laughs> um, and it's been so much fun to see the, the kids here, and mm -hmm. honestly, the similarities to kids at home, um, there, I can confirm, there is just as much energy in this room as there is in any room in our church. How many kids are here with um, this? Yesterday, we had... Ten. Ten. Ten and um, five more showed up. Oh, today. so now you have fifteen and so over the ages. <laughs> yeah. So eighteen, five. eighteen months. We have the twins in here sometimes. Right. So we have eighteen months to thirteen. Wow, that's yeah. like that goes back to the one class school room. Oh yeah, right? yeah. 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 One school room, whatever they say. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Kelly, anything you want to add to any of that? I sent my parents a message this morning. I was like, handling two kids under four is a lot easier than three to five to 15. And I was like, ugh. Because you all have kids back home. Yes. Yeah, yeah we yeah. have a, a three and a half year old and a 16 month old. Okay. So. <laughs> so, Casey, you had said something interesting. And I, when we were getting ready for the trip, I, I thought it was amazing. You've been wanting to get onto a mission trip somehow and you've been thinking about it for a long time and this one happened so what about this one was that pull why why did you all decide you know what this this is the one for us um well to understand that i think you have to go back uh i grew up baptist and so missions was a huge part yes. of you know an mm -hmm. evangelical church and I had so many opportunities to go on mission trips when I was a kid, and I just said no over and over and over again. I was like, no, God, I'm not that kind of person. Um, mm -hmm. I was very much a homebody. Okay. Um, and so for a long stretch of time, you know, there was not a really an opportunity. And then um, we got to South Highland, and it's once again a pretty missions-oriented place. And... Um, the opportunity presented itself because um, Cor, it was actually Cor and Abby Gatliff, our and pastors. They're the pastors. They, yeah, yeah, they're our pastors. Right. They, uh, they came here last year and they came back to us and said, you have to go. Mm -hmm. You have to go. It is so, so cool. You have to go. Yeah. And that, I think, was um, a little seed planted yes. in my head. <laughs> yeah. That personal invitation really means yeah. a lot, doesn't it? Especially yeah. when it comes from somebody who's a recognized leader. Yeah. Um, as we wind up this interview again, I told you it would just be kind of a, a, a overview. What is something both of you are hearing, or what are you seeing that God is doing here among these people? What's... Um, I see just the the spirit moving people because. Mm -hmm. um, the level of enthusiasm that people have mm -hmm. for their stories, their testimonies, they're getting up there one after another after another. And when they sing, everybody sings. Everybody sings. With Even with heart and feeling, mm -hmm. 
even if they can't sing, and that is okay, because I don't think God cares, really, <laughs> whether you can sing pretty or not. He just wants to hear you. And um, when they started at the worship last night, that was... Yeah. Um, I was not ready to leave when we had to leave. So <laughs> um, it was just really, really cool to hear them just with that outcry um, saying, you know, fill my heart. And it's, you didn't really have to understand Farsi to get the message. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just this community that he's building of, of new believers, of old believers, um, of in similar like in similar neighborhoods but also other cities around the country and other cities around the around the world just this community that's being formed mm -hmm. to to grow and learn and love and just be god's children yeah that's great yeah you're speaking about community because our conference is being broadcast back in iran right uh and in other parts of germany but also europe uh so uh, there is this sense of community that's pretty awesome to be part of as well. Well, listen, thank you all for sitting down with us. Uh, you're doing a great job with the children, and thank you all for listening. Thank you for the prayers that have sustained this team, and we are just really having a great time here. Uh, we'll be back to you again, and God bless.